Today we dive deep into innovation. Forget standard libraries. We are exploring tools that redefine modern engineering. Top trending open source dev tool projects are transforming how we build UIs, manage infrastructure, and implement cutting edge AI. We'll walk you step by step through seven game changers from XYFlow's multi framework node interfaces and Times FM's zero shot forecasting capabilities to full stack Next Cloudflare's edge native blueprints and the powerful Claude Agent SDK for Python agents. Let's unlock the future of development. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, XY Flow, node-based UI library for React and Svelte. What sets XY Flow apart is how it unifies the ability to build node-based interfaces across both React and Svelte, while offering deep customizability and seamless out-of-the-box experience. Many libraries focus on just one framework or offer limited flexibility, but this tool bridges ecosystems with a shared core, letting developers adopt whichever front-end they prefer without losing power or consistency. Unlike simpler flow or graph libraries that force you into a rigid structure, XY Flow is designed to be infinitely extensible. From node types, edge behaviors, layout algorithms to visual styles, every part can be overridden or extended, enabling you to evolve your UI logic as your app grows. It doesn't just produce static diagrams, it supports dynamic interaction, live updates, and custom behavior that responds to application state. Another distinguishing factor is its shared system library that underpins both the React and Svelte implementations. Rather than duplicating logic, XYFlow centralizes the core behavior, state management, event propagation, layout machinery, and then plugs into each framework's rendering layer. That means innovations or bug fixes benefit both ecosystems simultaneously, no lag in capabilities. Because of its design, it becomes ideal for apps that need visual workflows, editors, automation interfaces, decision trees, or any domain where nodes slash edges represent logic or data. The fact that it doesn't tie you to React only or Svelte only makes it future-proof for teams mixing frameworks or planning migrations. Ultimately, the uniqueness lies in delivering a robust, modular, multi-framework flow engine that is both immediately usable and deeply adaptable, bridging React and Svelte without compromise, and enabling creators to build sophisticated node-based UIs with confidence. Before we jump into the next GitHub project, here's something I've been working on that I know many of you will love, especially if you're into AI design and ad creation. I recently created 100 plus AI banner ad prompts for Nano Banana, a complete collection of prompts that can help you generate professional quality eye-catching banner ads for any brand or business in just seconds. You can use these prompts to design tech ads, fashion visuals, food banners, beauty campaigns, and even creative 3D product shots, all directly inside Nano Banana. And here's the best part. All my YouTube Premium members get this full list completely free. For all my regular viewers, don't worry, you can get access through the link in the description below. These are the same prompts I use for my own AI ad projects, so if you've ever wanted to create scroll-stopping ad visuals, this is the perfect toolkit to start with. Alright, let's get back to our next GitHub project. It's another amazing open-source AI tool you should definitely check out. Project number 2, Boilerplates. A curated template ecosystem. What makes Boilerplate stand apart is its depth and breadth. It delivers not just a few starter files, but a living library of production-grade templates spanning Docker, Terraform, Kubernetes, Ansible, and more. These aren't empty skeletons. Each template carries sensible defaults and real-world best practices, so you begin with a rock-solid foundation rather than a blank canvas. Another layer of uniqueness is the template engine that blends customizability with convenience. You can pick a ready template and immediately tweak it via interactive prompts or generate entire setups non-interactively by supplying variables. That way, whether you're rushing out a post CD or drafting the backbone of a serious system, you get consistency and flexibility side by side. Because the templates are versioned and maintained, boilerplates doesn't become stale. It evolves with shifts in tooling and best practices. Users benefit from upstream improvements while keeping control. What also makes it stand out is its unified repository approach. Rather than hunting around multiple theme repos for Docker, Terraform, etc., you get a single curated home. This fosters coherence. The templates are built to play nicely together, reducing surprises when stitching multiple infra pieces. 
There's also a community and extension angle. You can add or pull in custom template libraries, or contribute your own patterns into the mix. That keeps the ecosystem open and fresh. In sum, what gives Boilerplates its standout appeal is this. It's not just a scaffolding tool or code generator. It's a thoughtfully maintained, opinionated template ecosystem, built to let you start serious infrastructure or development work fast, with guardrails, consistency, and flexibility baked in. Project number three, Evershop, a modular API-first e-commerce platform. What makes Evershop so striking is its commitment to being truly modular and API-driven, giving developers full control without forcing them into rigid workflows. At its core, Evershop treats every feature, catalog, orders, promotions, checkout as modular pieces you can install, remove, or extend. This modular design ensures you never carry unwanted baggage. You only bring in what you need, keeping the system lean yet powerful. Another defining trait is its seamless blend of front-end and back-end via React and GraphQL, while still offering REST. This means your storefront can query exactly what it needs, minimizing overfetching and optimizing performance, plus you can bake in custom logic without fighting the platform. Evershop's architecture keeps the backend and frontend in the same project boundary, simplifying deployment and versioning. Evershop's extensibility shines through its themes and modules. Themes let you redefine the look and feel without touching core functionality. Modules encapsulate business logic in isolated units that rarely depend on each other, which means adding a payment method, a shipping logic, or a custom promotion doesn't destabilize the rest of the system. Its widgets feature is another highlight. Instead of hard-coded banners or menus, you can dynamically create, place, and shape content from the backend, giving stores true flexibility in layout and presentation. Under the hood, Evershop also enforces configuration schemas, ensuring settings are validated before going live. Finally, Evershop supports customization without vendor lock-in. Being open source under GPL 3.0, self-hosting your store means full ownership of data and operations. It also integrates with modern tools, Stripe, PayPal, multi-warehouse setups, international tax rules, multilingual support, all optional modules rather than forced features. In all, what sets Evershop apart is its balance. It gives you a robust foundation of commerce features, while preserving the freedom to shape, extend, or strip down as you like. No heavy framework cages, just a flexible canvas for building storefronts that truly match your vision. Project number four, Magic UI, UI library for design engineers. Magic UI becomes unique because it bridges the gap between designers and engineers, offering beautifully animated, ready-to-use UI blocks that enhance interface development without reinventing the wheel. Instead of building animations, transitions, and effects from scratch, teams can pick these components and drop them straight into their projects. That level of design consistency plus development speed is rare. What sets it further apart is the quality and polish of its animations and effects. These aren't simplistic fades or slides, they're thoughtfully crafted interactions that bring a modern, fluid feel to every user interface. Because these elements are open source and deeply curated, teams don't have to compromise on finesse just because they want speed. Another distinctive feature is its orientation toward design engineers. It treats UI as something that must both look fabulous and be developer-friendly. The components are built so that copying them into different frameworks or environments is as seamless as possible. That makes iteration between design prototypes and production code smoother. Magic UI also supports consistency across projects. When multiple teams adopt it, everyone works from the same set of animated building blocks, reducing design drift and visual mismatch. The community behind it backs continuous improvements, offering new components and effects over time. In essence, Magic UI is more than a component library. It's a curated animation toolkit that embeds aesthetic motion into every UI, packaged for real teams to use with ease and consistency. Project number five, Claude Agent SDK, enabling smart agentic AI in Python. What makes this SDK truly unique is how it transforms Claude from just a call and response model into an agentic tool aware collaborator directly inside Python. Rather than treating Claude as a black box that answers prompts, this SDK lets you give it custom tools and hooks, so it can not only answer, but act, plan, and invoke procedures when needed. Instead of relying on external SERPSS servers, custom tools can run in the same Python process. That means no juggling of separate processes or inter-process communication. Everything is simpler, faster, and easier to manage. You write your tool as a Python function, register it via the SDK, and Claude can call it just like any other function. That design choice stands out because many agent frameworks force you to spin up separate tool servers or microservices. 
Another standout feature is its hook system. You can interpose logic at specific points in the agent's reasoning or tool invocation pipeline. If certain tool calls are risky or require filtering, you can intercept, inspect, block, or modify them. That gives you fine control over how the agent behaves, going beyond just handing it tools to letting you shape its decision boundaries. It also supports rich conversational structure and streaming responses. Instead of getting one big block of text, you receive response messages in well-structured chunks, for example, text blocks and tool use blocks, which help integrate the agent's output into applications more naturally. That separation helps make it clearer when the agent is giving you content versus when it's invoking a tool. The SDK is also forward-thinking in design. It supports session forking and sub-agents, meaning one conversation can spawn branches or multiple reasoning paths. You can experiment, pipeline decision trees, or parallel threads of logic, all under controlled supervision. All of this wrapped in a well-documented open-source package licensed under MIT, it lowers the barrier for building intelligent, action-capable agents embedded in your own systems. Rather than treating AI as a passive responder, this tool allows you to turn it into a proactive and safe collaborator inside your Python applications, and that shift in paradigm is what truly makes it stand out. Project number 6. Times FM, Time Series Foundation Model. What sets Times FM apart is its ambition to be a foundation model for time series forecasting, meaning it's trained broadly, then applied out of the box to new domains with little or no retraining. Unlike specialized forecasting tools that expect domain-specific tuning, this tool is built to generalize. It was pre-trained on a massive corpus of about 100 billion real-world time points, giving it exposure to a wide variety of temporal patterns across domains. Another unique trait is its zero-shot forecasting capability. Because of the broad pre-training, Times FM can take a time series it has never seen before and forecast reasonably well, without needing to be retrained on that specific data. That means users can experiment quickly on new cases without the overhead of building a custom model each time. Times FM also supports long context and horizon flexibility. Earlier versions handled contexts up to 2048 time points, but newer versions push this much further, e.g. context length up to 16,000 in version 2.5, while maintaining efficient inference. This gives it the ability to learn from long histories and forecast far into the future something many classical and deep forecasting models struggle with. Moreover, Times FM is architected using a decoder-only transformer style, but adapted for time series rather than language. It treats patches of time points as tokens, and predicts the next patch given past ones. This design combines the strengths of transformers with innovations tailored to temporal data, for example, patching strategies, positional encodings, and flexible output patch length, so that it balances tokenization overhead and prediction depth. Finally, Times FM is being integrated in practical platforms, for example via BigQuery, making it accessible to data practitioners who may not want to manage model training pipelines. In sum, Times FM's uniqueness lies in treating forecasting as a generalizable foundation task rather than building a model per domain. Its scale of pre-training, zero-shot capability, long context slash horizon support, transformer architecture adapted for temporal data, and probabilistic outputs combine to make it a powerful, flexible forecasting tool, unlike most existing forecasting libraries. Project number seven, full stack next Cloudflare, full stack template with Next.js and Cloudflare. What sets full stack next Cloudflare apart is how it brings together bleeding edge web architecture with practical developer ergonomics all while targeting deployment at the cloud edge. Instead of forcing you to piece together Next.js, serverless environments and database layers, this tool comes pre-assembled as a production-ready template, combining Next.js 15 with Cloudflare workers, the D1 SQLite-style database, R2 object storage, authentication CI-CD pipelines, and much more. One big differentiator is how it's optimized for global performance by default. Because your application logic runs on Cloudflare workers, distributed across Cloudflare's edge network, user requests are served from the nearest location, reducing latency and speeding up responses. Meanwhile, the D1 database and R2 storage choices let you keep data and assets close to your users without managing separate servers. Another unique strength is its commitment to full functionality out of the box. You don't get a bare-bones skeleton, you get built-in CRUD APIs, authentication, including social sign-ons, type safety through Drizzle ORM, file storage, and robust routing. Many projects require you to wire all these pieces yourself. Here, they're already woven together in a coherent, scalable architecture. The template also maintains developer experience as a first priority.
Despite its power, it embraces modern workflows, letting you locally develop, preview, test, and then deploy without friction. This balance of ready-for-production yet developer-friendly is rare in starter kits. Finally, the template embraces an open nature and flexibility. Every component is modular and replaceable, so if tomorrow you wanted to swap out authentication or use a different storage backend, you can. It's not locked in. Combined with its scalability from MVP to full SaaS and its edge deployment architecture baked in, this project stands out as a full-fledged edge-native starter blueprint that saves developers from reinventing the stack while giving them the flexibility and power to build modern, fast, globally distributed web apps. We've seen seven distinctive projects designed to overcome modern development hurdles. Whether you need an infinitely extensible node-based UI engine that bridges React and Svolts like XY Flow, or robust modular e-commerce functionality provided by Evershop and more. If you found your next major tool, hit the like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the best open source projects.